subscribe to YouTube for latest tech related videos. This is Apple Watch Ultra and in today's video, I'll show you all about browsing media from social media sites like YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, etc. plus offline video and music playback straight from your watch and few secret content consumption tricks on your Apple Watch Ultra. By the way, anything shown during this video will also work on previous Apple Watches like Series 8, Series 7 and even previous versions. Let's start with my favorite way to consume YouTube video and shorts on my Apple Watches and that is by the app called WatchTube. This app is available for free on Apple Play Store and I have tested this app on previous Apple Watches like Series 7 and Series 6. Once you open the app, you can swipe left to access search and swipe again to access history as well as your liked videos. Further swiping left will get you settings like use of flick typing which is turned off by default, home page content where you can select default or curated, caption size, clear search and history, and library. Now you can search my YouTube channel called WidsTube and also subscribe as I have 500 plus tech videos so you can binge watch such amazing tech videos. I personally find this app pretty responsive and fast. You can either consume content while your watch is connected to a Wi-Fi or a cellular network. Once you play a video, you can control the volume from the rotating crown. And by default, the sound will be played off the built-in speaker, unlike most of the default app like Apple Music can never play music from the built-in speaker. And if you have your AirPods Pro 2 connected to your watch, then the sound will be played via the AirPods Pro 2. During the video playback, you do not get all the YouTube features like YouTube cards, end screens, timestamps, description, subtitle, video quality, etc. Some of them are available, which I'll show you later during the video, so keep watching. But again, you won't be watching YouTube primarily from your watch, and hence, it ain't a deal breaker for me. But I can see this app being very useful for people who are only going to use their cellular Apple Watch without a phone and now with this app you can search a video from YouTube easily right off your wrist. Not to mention viewing shorts on this app is also a good experience unlike other smartwatches that has a circular display like this Galaxy Watch 5 Pro video of which is linked at the end in case if you want to watch YouTube videos on Galaxy smartwatches. But due to this rectangular display of the Apple Watch Ultra, it works quite well with vertical form videos. Vitsube has ton of vertical format videos for you to binge watch, so be sure to check them out. Let me give you a demo of the speaker quality of this latest Apple Watch Ultra. Comment down below your thoughts about the speaker quality. Also, you can hit this like button, but that will just add this video in your watch history as a favorite video, so that's quite handy. Another setting is where you will find information, which is basically the video description. However, apparently you cannot click on any links, so that sucks. Going back under settings is captions, which are basically subtitled where you can select from various options that a creator has made available. If there are none, then you will see English auto-generated. Now going back under settings, you'll find all the comments. Again, you can't interact. Finally, share is where you can share a video via text and other options. So I really enjoy watching YouTube videos with this app. Let me know what are your thoughts. Now, if you want to browse YouTube with all its features, then the alternate way to do that will be from your iPhone. Go ahead and send a text message to one of your contact with the YouTube link. Like I have sent this VidsTube link tree link, which you should check it out. It's linked in the pinned comment and you can access VidsTube on all the other social media platform. So you can follow VidsTube from just this one link. Let's go ahead and open my main YouTube channel. Now from here, you can browse the entire channel with all the features. You can watch long and short form videos and even log into your account with your login credentials to access features like comments, etc. This is the same way you can also enjoy other social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Reddit, etc. You should follow WitchTube on Instagram for regular short reels and posts. You can also read my blog or website straight from the watch like this VidsTube official blog. 
So be sure to follow VidgeTube on all the social media platform that you actively use in order to get regular tech updates. I would say though accessing content like this is not the best of an experience. It's slow, laggy and relies heavily on the connection and sometimes it may not even work. So I would personally use WatchTube if YouTube video is what you want to watch. Now for offline media playback, that means if your watch is not connected to a cellular or a Wi-Fi network, then there are still ways to watch videos and play music. So let's briefly talk about that. For music, the best option is Apple Music, where any offline music file that you add to your iPhone via iTunes from your laptop will automatically be available for offline music playback from the Apple Music under Library, Downloaded and Songs. However, one major problem with this is that the song cannot be played from the watch's built-in speaker. The watch must be connected to a Bluetooth earbud in order for the music to be played, which for some can be a bummer. Unfortunately, most of the music player will need a Bluetooth earbud to be connected to your Apple Watch in order for the music to be played. And if you really want to play offline music from the watch's built-in speaker, then the best option will be this app called Widi Watch. This app is also available on the Apple Play Store. Once you get the app on both your iPhone and Apple Watch, you can add music and video files from your iPhone to your Apple Watch for offline playback straight from the Apple Watch. And any media file played via this app is directly played from the Apple Watch speaker unless a Bluetooth earbud are already paired to the Apple Watch. This case will work also well on previous Galaxy Buds like So comment down below which app would you prefer to use and subscribe so you don't miss out any upcoming videos. Also check out these gaming on Apple Watch video as you will find some amazing games that you can play on your Apple Watch.